Hi, this is Paul Lundeen. Thanks for sharing this minute. We're back with our old nemesis here, the I-25 gap between Monument and Castle Rock. It doesn't look too bad right now, but expect extra congestion here over the next two weeks this Christmas and New Year's season. From my perspective, widening this section of road is the most important economic issue in Colorado today, and therefore a key state policy issue. It connects the two largest cities in Colorado, and according to state records, every day over the past two years, there has been a meaningful traffic jam or incident somewhere along this corridor. We've gotten over two major hurdles in widening this road, but now we're confronted with a third. The first was convincing the Colorado Department of Transportation, or CDOT, to overlap the required studies, shorten the total estimated time frame, and speed up the start of construction. Thank you, CDOT. We all got a win there. The second hurdle was to find the funding to get the job done. Economic growth in the state has generated a more than $600 million expansion in the state budget forecast. $250 million has been targeted for this project. Douglas County has identified money, and El Paso County voters have chosen to contribute toward the project as well. El Paso County has applied for a federal grant, and the word is we are very competitive with that application. Your engagement helped us get over those first two hurdles. Now we have a new challenge. CDOT is promoting the idea of placing a toll on the new lane. They call it an express lane or a managed lane. They argue being able to increase or decrease the price of the toll will provide trip reliability. As of today, CDOT officials say the choice of to toll or not to toll is an open question. My perspective is pretty straightforward. It's the additional lane, not the proposed toll, that is the fundamental difference that will increase trip reliability, reduce congestion, and improve safety. I fully understand CDOT is under pressure to find revenue for maintenance operations. They can compete for dollars in the consistently expanding state budget. Roads and bridges are, after all, a core responsibility of state government. And the state budget has grown by about a billion dollars a year for years. It will be more than $30 billion this year. But CDOT shouldn't be allowed to hold the people of Southern Colorado hostage behind a toll lane. If the toll was temporary and paid for the construction of expanded capacity, or if we were building a new general use lane plus a toll lane for a total of four lanes, it might be an interesting discussion. But tolling the new third lane that is years past due is a wrong turn. Here's how you can help. Please register your opinion with the Colorado Department of Transportation. Contact them at the web link or email posted with this video. Or Google Colorado I-25 South PEL study and let your voice be heard. I'm Paul Lundin. Thanks for sharing this minute.